Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. This is Aberup. Uh, he's writing in. He says, hello, sir. Uh, I've been a longtime viewer. I'm writing this because I need some lens suggestions for my Nikon D3400. I would be highly obliged if you could suggest me some budget zoom lenses for portrait photography and a few group shots. I already have two primes, the 35mm and the 50mm. Good choices, by the way. Uh, I need a zoom lens for some situations. Please help me decide, sir. Thank you. Yours faithfully. Uh, well, thank you very much for your question. And um, I, I'm assuming, I guess, that you didn't get a kit lens with your 3400. Um, because it doesn't sound like you have one. So in this situation, Nikon D3400, capable camera, very good sensor. Um, I would look at, for a budget zoom lens, I would look at the Nikon 18 to 105. I would look at either that or the Nikon 18 to 140. If you're looking for more of your standard, well, those are essentially standard kit lenses. Those are better than, say, an 18 to 55 kit lens because they give you that additional reach. If you have a little more money, depending on what your budget is, which you didn't say exactly what your budget is, um, I would consider, if you want an all-rounder, the 18 to 300 would probably be my first choice for an all-round travel uh, standard zoom to have on the camera in most situations. And then in situations that require you know, lower light or a lighter lens, um, go to your 35 or your 50. So if you're doing street photography, you might want the 35. If you're going to do some portraits, you put the 50 on because it gives you close to an 85 field of view and it gives you that fast lens for depth of field separation. So that's what I would do. Uh, I, I like the 18 to 105. I've owned it. I like the 18 to 140. I've had it. I, ha I think I still have it here and shot with it. It's very nice. But if it was me wanting a general lens for kind of all situations just to stay on the camera for travel and when I'm out and about and around, the 18 to 300 really appeals to me. Um, it's not going to be the sharpest lens out there, but it's still a good quality lens, capable of taking good photos, and it gives you that huge range. You've got the wide if you need to do group shots. You've got the super long, the 300 mil, which can really zoom in there if you're out and about. And that, and that, that, that versatility uh, of being able to do that, to go from one extreme to the other, uh, outweighs a lot of people's concerns about ultimate quality. And you'll find that a lot of pros like these type of lenses for these type of situations. It's always horses for courses. Um, but a travel lens, I tend to like, you know, the minimum amount. I think I think Scott Kelby's been doing this late, lately too, is trying not to switch lenses. Um, and I think for him, he's uh, shooting on full frame. It's uh, more of something like a 28 to 300, I think, was on the Nikon side. And I don't know if he's still shooting Canon, but I can't remember. Uh, there, there's something similar to that on the Canon side. So... With a D3400, you're going to want a DX lens, and that would be the 18 to 300. So that's what I would look at. If for some reason you are wanting a faster lens, then the obvious zoom to go to is a standard Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 OS. Love that lens. You've probably seen me talk about it before. Um, very sharp, very good performing lens. Constant f2.8 aperture throughout the lens. You just get it, it's it's a, what we would call a standard zoom. So. You get a constant 2.8 aperture lens, which brings in more light, a little bit more separation, not as fast as 1.8, but 2.8 is much better than, say, a 4 or 5.6, and uh, gives you that faster. You, you just, you're just not getting the range. You're getting 17 to 50 instead of 18 to 300. So an option if you want a faster zoom. So that's what I would do. What do you think? What do you folks think? What do, what do our viewers out there think? Uh, do you agree with what I'm suggesting? Is there another lens you'd recommend? Let us know what you would do and why. Leave it in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's help out Aberup here. And uh, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.